Hello everyone, in this video we're going to talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. So I have some problems here we're going to go through together. The first one is just a straightforward problem. We have two polynomials separated with a plus sign. And really there's no reason for these to be in parentheses unless for some reason originally in the problem those two need to be grouped together and those two needed to be grouped together. But we don't need them grouped together anymore. So we're allowed to mix them, we're allowed to drop the parentheses, we're allowed to organize this and put everything together. So negative 7x squared and 5x squared, those can go together. Those are like terms. So I'm going to leave the x squared that they're attached to the same, and I'm just going to combine the front number. So negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. And then the same thing is going to happen to the 6x and the negative 10x. Again, they have like terms. They have the same exact variable. So I'm just going to bring along that variable. The numbers out front get combined. 6 minus 10, or 6 plus negative 10, would be negative 4x. So the answer to this question is 2x, negative 2x squared minus 4x. Now, sometimes the problem's not going to be set up like this for you, and the problem is going to be written out in words. You should remember that the word sum means add. So this really is the same kind of problem. It's just written in a little bit different manner. So if I write it like this, the first thing they gave us needs to be added to the second thing they gave us. And again, the parentheses are just there to tell you these were grouped together and these were grouped together. We're going to drop the parentheses and combine everything together. So this negative 7x has no... Um, has one other x to go with, but usually when you do uh, polynomials, um, it's preferred that you sort the exponents from highest to lowest. So I know this term is first, but I'm actually going to deal with this term first. Um, there's none of them here, and there's just that one there, so I'm just going to bring it down. And now I'll deal with the x's here. So we have negative 7x plus negative 8x all together. That's a negative 15x. And 10 plus negative 9 would be plus 1. If you have an answer that's in a different order than that, that's correct. It's just math people prefer that you sort the exponents from highest value, in this case 2, down to lowest value. This one has an exponent of 1, and that one doesn't have an exponent at all. So we have it sorted from highest exponent to lowest exponent. So the third question here is uh, same process except it's a minus, and that's going to change things quite a bit. Um, everything here needs to be subtracted by everything here. So in this case, before we actually start to combine like terms, we're going to drop these parentheses, and then we're actually going to distribute this minus to everything inside the parentheses. Since everything here needs to be subtracted, let's make everything inside its opposite so that it, the negative, the subtraction, is taken care of. So a negative negative 5x will actually be a plus 5x because we're not taking away 5x. We have a double negative there. And then same thing here. This is a minus 4 and this is a minus. So if I, sub if I distribute that minus, this really becomes plus 5x and that really becomes plus four. And now that we have everything uh, in one big statement, and we don't have a minus sign that's uh, going to some things and not to others, now we can just combine like terms here. We have only this x squared, there's no other x squared. We have three x plus five x is eight x. And we have five plus four, which is nine. So this is the answer, x squared plus eight x plus nine. All right, and then finally, the last one is the most tricky. It's the same process as over here, but when they say subtract from, this is something that's probably been haunting you your whole math life. Subtract from is like a tricky way of them saying, hey, not only are you subtracting, but you actually are given to them in the wrong order. So the problem that's actually happening here is negative x squared plus 2x plus 9 is being subtracted by 
9x squared minus 2x plus 4. If I was telling you to subtract 2 from 11, you're not doing 2 minus 11. You have 11 and you're taking 2 away from it, 11 minus 2. Same thing here. You need to take this from this. So this is what we have. That needs to go first. And then this is what's being taken away. So that's why that one went second. And now let's do the same process here. Let's distribute that minus sign. We have negative x squared plus 2x plus 9. Nothing in the first term changes. And then everything in the second term becomes its opposite because we're distributing that minus sign to the three terms. So negative 9x squared plus 2x and minus 4. And now we just needed to combine like terms here. All these things need to be combined into one statement, organize it, clean it up a little bit. We have negative x squared and negative 9x squared. That's negative 10x squared. We have 2x and 2x. That's 4x. And we have positive 9 and negative 4. That's positive 5. So the answer to this one is negative 10x squared plus 4x plus 5. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.